I'm going to model a coin for my treasure chest scene or lost treasure. Very simple uh, modeling here in Blender. I'm going to use a cylinder. I'm going to leave the default values with the end gone there. And scale this in the Z until I get the thickness that I want for my coin, which is like that. Press 3 to go into face selection and select the top and bottom. I inset a little bit. E and S Z. Scale it in the Z down a little bit like that. Okay. Let's right click and shade smooth. Let's put on that. And that may be good enough. On the other hand, I might decide to bevel this. I might go just for one and put on angle. Completed normal. So I may go just for that. All right. Uh, for UV unwrapping, I'm going to select uh, this edge here and Control E, mark scene. Let's shut off the bevel. It'll be a little easier to see that. And do the same down here. Mark scene there. And I'm just going to choose any of these here. And mark scene. Take that. We're going to unwrap like that. Um, I am going to make this 2K. And I'm going to pack those silence. And that's basically going to be it. Okay. Uh, I can also come over here. Actually, let's go back into edit mode. And apply my checkers. And that looks, that looks okay for what I want to do anyhow. So I'm going to go ahead and with it selected, I'm going to export as FBX. And I've already done this. Let's call this coin video. Selected objects, just the mesh, there's nothing else anyhow. Okay. Over in Substance Painter, I'm going to create a new file. I'm just going to go 1024. I'm going to find Coin Video and bring it in. There it is. Bake the mesh maps at 1024. And in the layers, okay. I'm going to search for a smart material and I'm just going to use this copper and that's fine uh, just like that for me okay because we're not going to see these up close all right cool um, orthographic view let's go do the top first okay I'm going to create a fill layer and a black mask and on the fill layer, I'm going to deselect color. I want height, roughness, metal, normal. All right. And for the height, I'm going to bring the height up to about 0.7, so something in that area. Okay. Click back on the black mask and come over here to the alpha. And I'm going to choose um, paraboloid, I guess. We'll do that part first. Did I get it? There it is. That's good enough. Let's just do a test. There it is. All right, cool. I'm going to turn on symmetry and click here. I want radio symmetry in the Y. I'm going to go for 360 degrees and 16. All right. And I'm going to click and just have a look. Okay, those are a little bit big, so I'm going to scale this down to 8. And I'm going to click and then I'm going to come around here and I'm going to click again. No, not quite. I just want it roughly circular. All right, that's okay. Okay, let's uh, go around to the underside. Hold down Shift till it snaps. And we'll do the same thing. Just click there. Now a little bit close. Click there. in there that's okay just like that all right cool all right so i still have symmetry on so let's go i'm going to stay on the same layer uh and do this next part for alpha i'm going to choose square i'm going to choose this square here before i go any further 
I'm going to change the angle to there. And I am going to change where else? Right down here. I'm going to squeeze a little bit. Let's just check it out. That's probably okay, just like that. Um, let's try 10 and see how big that is. I think that's all I'm going to do for that stuff there. That's that's all right like that. Okay. Let's come back to here. Let's turn off symmetry. I'm going to stay on the same layer. I'm just going to come down to the alpha again, and I'm going to get a different alpha. Uh, rounded. I'm going to go for this one here, this cross. And I'm going to set the size at about 145. And position this in the middle and just do that okay come on the underside and do it again and that is my coin you do any other details I could put another circle in there if I wanted I can make another one and use a different symbol but that's basically how I would uh, do my coin and I'll sprinkle them around the treasure chest in the sand in various orientations. That's it.